Have you ever wondered what goes into detailing a top tier luxury car like this stunning Mercedes-Benz S580? As you can tell, this car needs some serious help. It was delivered just a week ago from the dealership and already has scratches, swirls, and water spots. In this video, we're diving deep into the exclusive world of high-end car detailing. I'm going to reveal the closely guarded secrets that transform a luxury car into a true masterpiece. From the finest products to the best detailing tools, I'm bringing you behind the scenes to show you the step-by-step -step process that creates a mirror-like finish. But that's not all. You'll also see how I clean, enhance, and protect the interior for a luscious feel and experience. Leather that feels softer than a cloud and an ambiance that redefines luxury, it's all in the details. I'm excited to share the knowledge, tips, and tricks that I've accumulated during my 26 years of detailing cars, and you'll get to experience the exhilarating moment of revealing the breathtaking final results. So if you've ever been curious about the magic that happens behind the scenes of a high-end car detail, or if you're simply passionate about craftsmanship, this video is tailor-made for you. By the way, I remind you that I'll leave the links to all the tools, products, and equipment that I used in this video. Those will be linked in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So we're gonna start with the pre-wash stage using a uh, snow foam. In this case, the Koshemi Super Foam has a pH of 12 and a half. So it's an alkaline snow foam. We're gonna start breaking down the uh, older waxes and sealants that are on this vehicle. And um, we're going to take uh, away that traffic film, the road grime. We're going to let it dwell for uh, a few minutes on the surface. I work in a controlled environment, so 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit uh, with perfect humidity at around 40 to 45%, so uh, optimal conditions. So we're gonna thoroughly rinse the vehicle. So a lot of people forget how important the rinsing process is with your pressure washer, uh, especially if you have one, or even a garden hose that has decent pressure, make sure you get all the nooks and crannies right, like those fender wells. That's how you remove the majority of the dirt in carpeted fender wells. I get that question asked often, and you're gonna knock off the uh, majority of the loose dirt and debris that way. Next, we're going to tackle the wheels and tires. In this case, I'm using the IK foam pump sprayer with a PNS brake buster. That's a wheel and tire cleaner uh, in a one to three dilution ratio. So in that pump sprayer, I added uh, seven ounces of uh, brake buster and 21 ounces of water uh, for a total of 28 ounces. You got to leave a bit of lee room for the uh, the air inside there. Uh, I used the Detail Factory Stiff Bristle Tire Brush to scrub the tire walls. Uh, the Easy Detail Brush to get into the spokes there, you can see, in the, to clean the barrels. And then a Boar Hair um, Gentle uh, Wheel Brush for the faces. So again, we're going to tackle uh, both the uh, tires, the barrels, the faces. And then I have another Detail Factory uh, bore hair brush to do the uh, calipers and also the wheel lug nuts. So you gotta get in there and make sure you clean everything. Look at that disgusting foam. So we're going to rinse all of that off before we move on to the next step. Uh, here, you see those kind of tire alignment dots. To remove those, it's pretty simple. I use Citrol 266, a powerful citrus-based degreaser. Uh, good to do a bunch of stuff, including uh, road paint, tar, um, a bunch of stuff for contaminants that you might have on the vehicle, but also great to remove those little dots on the tires. It's all about the details. Next, we're going to prep our soapy solution. In this case, I'm using CarPro D-Scale. This is an acidic-based car shampoo, slightly acidic to help tackle the minerals uh, in things like the water spots that we have. So in four gallons of water, I'm using roughly uh, five ounces of CarPro D-Scale. Going to take the pressure washer and make sure we activate the suds and the shampoo in there. You can use it uh, in your foam cannon if you want for the pre-wash stage or in the wash bucket like I'm doing here. I'm going to use the uh, pan, the organizer, uh, traditional car wash method, which is to work from top to bottom. I always use a microfiber wash mitts and you can tell uh, every time I switch a panel or every now and then I flip the mitt to the clean side. And also I use the uh, two bucket method. That's my preferred method. So one bucket with the soapy solution, uh, another bucket 
it to uh, have some just uh, rinsing water inside there. So just some clear water. So you dunk your mitt in the rinse bucket and before you dunk in the wash bucket, that way you're never going to have contamination. Uh, so I do the top portions first, then I do the midsection and I keep the bottom rocker panels and lower parts of the bumpers last because those are usually the dirtiest parts of the vehicle. And again, we're going to thoroughly rinse the car. Now, as you can tell, there's still a bit of water beading and water sheeting. So uh, stripping shampoos can only help to start break down the older protection but you need machine polishing to remove that and we're going to see that now the car was covered in brake dust and contamination in this case so we're going to clay the surface using the diy detail perforated synthetic clay towel along with the uh, DIY detail iron remover. So in this case, we can combine both. You spray one spray of the iron remover in your towel, one spray on the panel, and you put your towel on the spot where you sprayed the panel. And then in movements of up and down, left to right, you're going to lightly agitate. Don't apply any pressure. Let the towel do its thing. Uh, because it is an ultra fine synthetic material, this is not ha doesn't contain any abrasives, so will not mar the surface. And we're using the uh, DIY uh, iron remover as a clay lubricant so it uh, we're killing uh, uh two birds or one bird with two stones what's the expression <laughs> so uh, yeah we're both uh, doing the chemical decontamination and mechanical decontamination at the same time uh don't combine all the iron removers with clay media um you gotta find which combinations work well we're also spraying the iron remover on the wheels to remove embedded brake dust uh, but again the diy detail iron remover does contain a bit of surfactants so it does help um with lubricating the surface so it's super gentle and that perforated synthetic clay towel works very well so yeah we're being more efficient with our time and in the detail and we're doing two chemical decon and mechanical decon at the same time so we rinsed the vehicle and now for the wheels we're going to use the DIY quick beads, a graphene based uh, spray on rinse off sealant. So a few sprays on the surface, shake the bottle well before use and a few sprays in the inner barrel. We're going to let that dwell for roughly 30 seconds to a minute. Follow the instructions on the label for this product. And then you come and you thoroughly rinse. And there you go. You have water beading and water sheeting. The protection should last a couple of months and it makes the cleaning much easier during your maintenance washes. So that's one of the purposes and also helps to dry. Now to protect against the flash rust when you have steel rotors I like to use Hyde's rust uh, serum stopper so it prevents that flash rust here um, I was a bit slower on the detail I took my time so the um, flash rust had already started uh, but note that when you're done with your final rinsing you can spray that on and you're not going to have as much rust on the disc surface next we're going to prep the glass uh, using the roll-on compound from soft 99 it's basically a glass compound with a felt applicator so you apply up and down left to right and then you're going to thoroughly rinse this is going to remove any previous glass sealant or cheap wax that might be on there you see here there's no beading and very slow sheeting so there's no protection left because we're going to be applying a glass coating later on now I'm going to tackle the rubber floor mats. So thoroughly rinse beforehand. And then I sprayed the uh, McKees 37 uh, floor mat rejuvenator for rubber. And then I'm using the same uh, stiff br uh, bristle nylon brush as I used for the tires. And then thoroughly rinse once again. And that's pretty much it. You're going to let them air dry and they're good to go. Talking about drying, we're now going to dry the entire vehicle. I'm using my Ego 650 CFM uh, cordless lithium powered uh, blower to blow the car. Always wear ear protection. Uh, I also have the Apex Air version 2 stubby nozzle, so they're updated nozzle. And uh, I also have the blower band, so that's that green tip to help to prevent any scratches if you accidentally uh, hit the, the paintwork. So now that the car is clean, we're going to go ahead and do a uh, paint correction. So the customer chose a one-step package. So after some um, test spots, I decided to use CarPro Reflect. So a polish with just a little bit of cut, uh, good enough for this harder uh, German paint or clear coat, should I say. And it finishes down very, very nicely, uh, little to no dusting. Uh, it is a treat to work with. I could have also used Sonax Perfect Finish, but in this case, I found that the uh, CarPro Reflect uh, just did a little better of a job. I combined that with the uh, Rupez Yellow Foam DA uh, Fine Polishing Pad and also my Flex uh, Dual Action Cordless Polisher. So use a microfiber towel to wipe that away. Uh, and then I used an IPA to wipe down the surface or a panel prep spray uh, from Jurislic 
uh, remove any polishing oils and potentially any fillers if you have fillers in your polishes and then inspection light from scan grip to inspect the work and uh, it did the job so I was pretty happy as you're going to see later on we did roughly 90% uh, correction in this case with a one step so um, we don't want to overdo it right we want to preserve as much clear coat as possible we're not aiming for perfection this is a daily driver and so we increased the clarity and the gloss made the metallic flakes pop in the black uh, coat and that was beautiful now we're going to apply the ceramic coating one of my favorite professional grade coatings this is Jurislic uh, Extreme HG HG stands for Holy Grail so a five-year pro grade coating and a very easy application so you prime the pad and you apply in movements of up and down and left to right you're going to let that sit until it hazes like a wax. So in this case, it's not the rainbow effect, but you're going to see the white haze. Take your first uh, clean and dry microfiber towel for the initial wipe or leveling the coating, and then a second clean and dry towel to buff it off. So uh, yeah, use an inspection light to uh, go ahead and inspect your work as you go because you don't want any high spots. Those are those darker spots. If you leave those unattended, they're going to cure and harden, and you're going to have to machine polish those off if you're not careful. So uh, as we move on to the panels again movements and up and down left to right a cross hatch pattern to make sure we get even and proper coverage depending on the conditions you work in of course look for that haze it can be 30 seconds to a minute sometimes two to three minutes the higher the humidity and heat the quicker the product flashes and the colder temperatures lead to slower flashing the first towel I use is the pearl uh, microfiber towel from the rag company and the second towel is the eagle edgeless towel for the final buff now for a glass coating I'm using soft 90 Ultra Glaco. Uh, Glaco stands for glass coating. This is one of the best glass sealants or coatings that I have used. Uh, this has taken an award in my 2023 Car Detailing Products Awards video for best glass coating of the year. So you apply, you let it sit for roughly five to 10 minutes, and then you take a microfiber towel and you buff off, and you're going to get 10 to 12 months of extreme water beating and sheeting, increasing visibility and safety while you're driving. Next, I decided to tackle the, uh, the glass, so both inside and out, roll the windows down, guys. Pinch that upper part uh, that you never see, but it still gets dirty. And then using the box method, I clean the uh, glass using a glass-specific microfiber towel. Those are shorter nap, and they're a tighter weave, no linting. That is important. I also uh, clean my microfiber towels used for glass separate from the rest. Uh, for the finishing touch, we're applying the CarPro Dark Side Tire Sealant. Uh, this here is one to two months of durability in my condition, so it lasts longer than traditional tire shines that barely last a week. Uh, and it has this perfect blend of just enough shine, but not overly glossy. So we're not going for that glazed donut look. We want just that perfect balance. And again, the durability is great. The finish is awesome. Just look at that. It's going to make the wheels pop. So as I was vacuuming the interior of the uh, Mercedes, I noticed that this was a smoker's car, not only because there were ashes on the, uh, the floor, but of course you have to have attention to detail, right? See that right there? Yep, that's a cigarette. Now, I don't know if this is the uh, driver or the owner, but we're gonna have to get that. There we go. Bring that forward so we can now pick it up and dispose of it. That could have been a fire hazard too at some point. For the interior, guys, uh, once I cleaned all the surfaces, I decided to use the DIY Detail Interior Ceramic. Now, this is a ceramic protection for your interior surfaces, so your vinyls, your plastics, uh, your rubber, even leather. And what is cool about it, it's going to protect the uh, surface from fading over time. It's going to give it anti-static properties as well, which is great to cut down a bit on that interior dusting. Uh, it makes spills and dirt much easier to clean during your maintenance washes, and it also has UV protection. Uh, so it was very easy to apply a few sprays on your microfiber towel, wipe the surfaces so it's very quick and efficient, because uh, as you can see, it blends in well. You flip your towel to the clean and dry side for just a light buff, so it's not glossy by any means. It's not greasy. So so it has that OEM factory finish, but you're getting uh, some protection, some long-lasting protection for all your interior surfaces, all from one spray. 
Next, uh, well, if we have a look at the end results, guys, with just a one step and a bit of elbow grease, we were able to restore this paint to better than new. The owner was absolutely floored. Uh, they couldn't believe just how much better it looked compared to when they took delivery from the dealership. So we increased the gloss and the clarity. I mean, look at this. You can shave yourself off the panels. You can barely tell what color it is in the reflection because it is that glossy. So I say we'd corrected roughly 90% uh, of the swirls, the scratches. We removed pretty much uh, all the uh, water spots that uh, had occurred. Always make sure you address the water spots quickly. Don't let them bake on the paint for weeks on end because those mineral deposits, they'll eventually etch through the clear coat. Uh, you'll need heavy machine polishing, sometimes wet sanding. And if it's too deep and it etched through all the way to the base color coat, you'll have to do a full panel respray. So address those. But again, look at this paint just pop. If we have a close up, look at that metallic flake just pop. So increased gloss, increased clarity and tons of protection due to the uh, ceramic coating. So uh, yeah, I think we can sit back and enjoy the results that we obtained and uh, hopefully you guys uh, at home if you like these kinds of videos you'll learn a thing or two uh, by all the tips and tricks that I share and just just look at that I mean wow I even myself like all, after 26 years plus of detailing I'm still uh, amazed at the results that we can do with the vehicle uh, same goes for the interior so all the surfaces were clean uh, enhanced and protected uh, we addressed the um, floor mats all the carpeted with um, some protection car pro fabric 2.0 we use the uh, interior ceramic from DIY Detail to uh, protect and, uh, of course, make sure that all the future cleanings are much easier in the future. So, guys, I'll leave the links to all the tools, products, and equipment in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. I hope you enjoyed the video. And in the meantime, guys, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.